happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, hey, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any most awesome videos. In front of us we have the XH Data D318BT. This is an FM portable radio with Bluetooth and MP3 player plus a digital recorder. I bought this for a total of $20 from Amazon and here it is. Looking at the box, we have a picture of the device. XH Data D318BT. Got some bullet points there. Recording, auxiliary, BL5C battery, FM radio, super bass. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, here we go. We got some more bullet points there. Just kind of flipping the box around for you guys. Made in China. Who would have guessed? <laughs> On the back, pretty much the same as the front. Uh, wireless working range because it is Bluetooth, which is nice. There you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get inside the box. All right, some cables off the side here. Empty this out. Okay, empty box. Right to the side. Let's see, first things first, we got a stereo patch cable. This is to hook up your radio to your recorder so you can record or listen to a better speaker because the speaker is not as good as the one that comes with this radio. <laughs> so good setup. Uh, get rid of that. Next we have the USB cable. This is to charge the radio's battery. It's also to interface with your PC. So my particular cable did not work with the PC. I don't know if I shipped the wrong cable or if this cable is defective on the data line. I have a feeling it is a power only cable and they made a mistake by putting this with the radio because the instructions cl clearly state to use this cable to hook it to the PC. I found it out by accident because I was using a different cable and it was working, working with my PC, but then when I use this cable, it did not. So we'll talk about that later. That's that cable. Uh, here we got the manual. I'm just gonna kind of open it up and I'm just gonna kinda scan it across because we're really not gonna go over the manual. We're just gonna kind of show you for those who want it for posterity, they'll have it on this video so they can go Todd, how do you do that? And I'll just like go, go to page four and pause. <laughs> go to page five and pause. That's how I'll do it. And here, if we go up close, specifications, you can take a quick look at that. Audio formats it supports as a player, MP3, Wave, AAC, WMA, FLAC, and APE. There's your frequency range for the FM. And the maximum storage is 32 gigabytes. And where's it made? Okay. <laughs> There's the instructions, we're done with that. Let's get to the radio, here it is, bubble wrap, I'd like to see that. All right, let's see, it's another little sleeve that comes in. One thing right off the bat, it's high gloss black plastic, which is always fun, and it is a kind of a dust magnet. So let's go ahead and just dust it off. All right, so let's talk about dimensions real quick. This is four and three eighths of an inch across, two and a half inches tall, and it has a depth of one inch. Precise comparison, I brought out a few radios here. Let's see, we got the CC Pocket that you saw a moment ago. So it's almost the same size as the CC Pocket. Very nice. Give you an idea there. And then, its main competitor, can you guess what it is? The Texan Q3 recorder. Yes, these are competitors. And they definitely compete directly. So, there we are. The Q3 does use a smaller battery, it uses a BL5B, while this uses the BL5C. This is a smaller capacity battery. I think does it say what it's rated there? Not really, I forget what those are rated at, but definitely less than the BL5C. But there you go for size comparison. There you go. All right, cool. And then of course, last but not least, the Invincible Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. Sing it along with me. Yeah. <laughs> or not. Uh, but there you go, deck of cards. So it's pretty pocket friendly. All right, so let's go over features of the XH Data D318BT. Let's see what we got here. Uh, left hand side, high gloss plastic. Yep, fingerprint magnet. But uh, it looks pretty classy. I do like that. Uh, front of the radio, we have a metal speaker grill here. And behind there, I measured it out. Looks like about an inch and a quarter speaker. It's got a lot of bass to it, a lot of low end. 
And I believe there might be space for like a base port up here. I'm not sure. I know there's probably a microphone back here. That's Q3 has their microphone. I don't know if I can show that to you. And the Q3, the microphone is right there. Oh, wait, no, excuse me. That little tiny hole right there. That's a screw. So right there's the microphone on this one. So it's like kind of a similar speaker too. All right, so there we are. Okay, uh, next up on here, I gotta bring it to the camera here. We got some buttons. So, well, the LCD panel, it's one of those red LEDs. Um, it's pretty basic. I kind of wish it was a normal one, uh, especially for outdoor use it would be nice. I just wish they'd get away from using these LED type displays, but that's what it is anyway. Uh, keeps the cost down probably, I'm guessing. Here's an A to B button uh, for those who are training languages. That's pretty nice to have. Record button. Here we have a four-way circular switch. Um, if you go forward with it, it takes track forward or a song forward or fast forward through the track. Same here, going backwards. Up takes you to the music folder, and we'll show you that. And down takes you back down to your trans flash card. Center button, we have a pause play function and recording uh, will also be paused when you're recording, which is nice. If you notice there's a little phone there, when you're in Bluetooth mode, you can answer calls using the onboard microphone. That was pretty neat. Here we have a mode select button and a trash function button. It looks like it doubles as an enter button. Direct entry keypad, very handy to have when you're plugging in for your, say you got 100, 200 songs, and you know your favorite albums on song 50, just put in 50, and there you go. Uh, here number six is a lockout feature, nice to have, good to see that. And here on zero we have a a one with a repeat. So what this is, you only have two. You have repeat one song, repeat all songs on the card. That's a, it's pretty basic. Okay, going to the right-hand side of the radio, we have volume control, headphone jack. Headphones sound good on the mids, highs, no hiss at all, which is great. Uh, stereo playback on the MP3 sounds fantastic. It is FM mono, both ears. This radio, FM radio, does not have stereo, which is unfortunate. I don't know why it doesn't. <laughs> Everything else wants to be stereo on here, but that is not uh, the case. So no FM stereo, but it does sound very good on FM radio, even though it's mono, both ears. Here we have the DC input, 5 volts. Down here we have auxiliary in. Now this is green. You'd think that would be stereo, but it is not. This device is not recording stereo when you hook up an auxiliary device to it. Interesting note. And as we'll talk about the features, as we go, there's a lot to this radio. <laughs> We're going to explore it all. Uh, yeah, that's... One of those things where it does not record in stereo, which I found out. The Q3 in the line in, let me get that to focus, does record in stereo. Just letting you know, that one does. All right, going to the bottom of the radio, we got little rubber feet, and we got the SD card. And the cool thing about this radio, now remember, this is $19, and the Q3, this is $30, okay? Here, not only do you get the Bluetooth function, but you also get an SD card. Yes, they bundle this in. This isn't mine, it's the one they gave me. I think it is an 8 gig Kingston branded card. There you go. So class 10, pretty basic setup. But hey, 8 gig card gets you going. You don't need anything else. I love that. No extra purchases required. All right, so I think I covered that carry strap here. Top of the radio, we have the on off switch. Pretty simple. And look at this, a real antenna. <laughs> uh, this antenna extends out to 13 inches. Surprising, really nice. Uh, and we'll talk about FM reception here in a moment. If the Q3 is, I'm going to keep bringing this out to show you, its antenna is this little strap, which is a real pain. Yeah, that's no good. So, yep. <laughs> uh, back of the radio, you're going to, of course, see the BL5C compartment. Pretty basic. I don't know if I have to open this up to show you, but I guess I will, because some of you will want to know what it comes with. It comes with their branded battery, and this is the 1,000 milliamp hour variety, and this is the, probably the one you want. 1500 is probably just a label that doesn't mean anything because I found out that these batteries are typically a thousand milliamp hours and that's it. That's all you get. Even if they say 2000, you're still getting a thousand. So it's just a marketing gimmick. Let's get this back closed up. All right, there you go. Yep. High gloss fingerprint magnet. We just can wipe that down. Again, not going to matter here in a little bit. So let's talk about FM reception. Then we'll do a little audio test with this. And then we'll talk about some of the recording features because there's quite a bit to talk about with that. All right. So. FM reception report. I like to do these um, because I can't go through the music stations for copyright problems. So let's talk about FM reception. I do it on a five-star basis. I start off the lowest as fair, okay, good, very good, and excellent. 
most radios fall in between OK and Good, 2.5 star rating. You would think that'd be a low rating, but that's actually an average rating and is actually a pretty solid rating, 2.5 stars. This radio, with its tiny little antenna and its auto tuning thing, because I couldn't manually go through the stations, it won't let me do that. And I wasn't going to enter in the, every frequency all the way up the line, I just didn't want to do that. So I just did the Seek. It found over 60 stations with that Seek, which is amazing. Now it did false find a few stations, like uh, say you had 94.2, it would pick up that because you had a stronger station 94.3. It would pick up both 94.2 and 94.3, the bleed over it would pick up. Why it does that? I have no idea, but it did. So I just disregard those. So yeah, it found 60 stations. So I rate this as good. So just to, you know, just above the okay to good, I'm pretty amazed. The FM select, uh, selectivity was good. It was finding faint stations all over the place. I was very impressed. If you hooked up a little extra wire to this radio, I, you gotta imagine you could DX with this little FM radio. You could just manually, manually enter in your frequencies. I thought that was really neat for such a small, inexpensive radio. Did not expect that kind of performance from it and was pretty happy with the results. So there you go. A great little FM radio. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn it on. We'll turn it up here on top. It says hi. Yay! Oh, this you crazy mother! Here's our volume control. Now at zero, it mutes it. And at one, there's your lowest you can go. What we'll do is we'll run about a few minutes demoing the music and then some other things I put on here. And then we'll go back to talking about the recording functions.
pretty good. Now, not only do I like to listen to music on this little guy, amazing sound coming out of here. Holy mackerel. <laughs> I love these little radios with these powerful little speakers. Man, uh, is my old classic radio. So let's go to classic radio here. If uh, you have all taken seats that satisfy you, gentlemen, we will proceed at once with the business at hand. Good. Uh, maps, photographs, and other data, Miss Arden. In your portfolio, Mr. Father. Thank you, thank you. Gentlemen, we are faced with a crisis. We're in dire need of funds. And we shall acquire said funds from the Wentworth Diamonds. Net profit to us? A half million dollars. Of course, the Wentworth rocks are too hot to handle. Uh, the main... Raymond Burr. <laughs> Love that Good evening, friends of the Inner Sanctum. Frank Sinatra, transcribed as Rocky Fortune. good idea it's the sounds fantastic uh so yeah as you're using it as you saw it's pretty simple uh you can fast forward through the track it's kind of a slow fast forward if you noticed it's just jumping every what five seconds there you can pause so if you take a break you can pause it which is nice you can go backwards of course backtrack so that's nice Okay, so you get an idea how the playback works. Very basic uh, on headphones. Sounds fantastic with the stereo, like I mentioned before. Uh, mode select. If we hit mode, it'll take us to the FM radio. Let's raise our antenna, see if we can hear this. This is actually pretty interesting, because this is a hard station usually to pick up down here. <laughs> Let get this box out of the way. It is flat. This is the news uh, station, WBBM on FM. So you can enter in a frequency, let's see. Uh, so if you're on your FM, 90, let's go 0.1 and hit, I believe. There we go. I think we're maybe that button there, the enter key. Did it pick up anything? No, it did not. Okay. I'd find something there. All right, let's go ahead and just... Okay, that's music. Can't hover on there. <laughs> let's go... Um, I thought I'd find something down the bottom there. 90.1. Enter. Nope, I don't want to delete that. Okay, so trash cans delete. <laughs> Modes are enter. Let's, get, let's exit the... Let's go back to the FM. Um, let's go back here to our new station. I look in the mirror and... <laughs> I don't even see myself anymore. I'll probably get music. Let me try 1055. Can you really expect others to? I'm having a breakthrough. Odds are you've never heard that word before. For the 40 people diagnosed with sarcoma every day, it is a life changing word because sarcoma is cancer. So now I'm recording, which is really neat. Um, so I'm going to start talking about the record feature. Recording FM. Uh, it records, and I did. A, I looked at the uh, files after I've done all the recordings, and I'm gonna give you the findings. So right now I'm recording an FM station. It does not record stereo, unfortunately, because the radio is not stereo. Okay, so I'm gonna go down. I'm just gonna stop the recording here. Okay, so just hit the record button to stop it. Uh, so the recording on FM. Uh, I found out that it's not stereo. It's single channel only. The sample rate is 177 kilobits per second at 44.1 kilohertz. I have a little pop-ups come up as I say these things. 
So in case you don't understand what I'm saying, you can read it on the screen. Uh, it's it's weird uh, uh, sample rate, kind of odd. That it's 177, but that's what it was. Uh, so <laughs> interesting. Also, to note the uh, SD card came with 100 Chinese songs. If you're interested in that, <laughs> just just in case you wanted to entertain yourself. Um, so there it is. And now if you want to play back what you just recorded, uh, let's see if I hit up. Okay, I gotta go to the trans flash card. Let me go back to that mode, TF. Go up to your music folder. Sarcoma is cancer. And this is what I recorded just recently. Advocacy and research. The Sarcoma Foundation of America is bringing hope to the families whose lives have been turned upside down by a cancer they had never I noticed you can delete the recording with the trash function. But you can't delete the items you put on your SD card from the computer, which is nice. So you can't accidentally delete a song you put on there. So there you go. So that's the playback of what I recorded. Pretty neat setup. So let's go ahead and show you the mode. So if you saw me going through it, there's the, F, there's the radio. And then here's the Bluetooth mode. So if you had your device, it would automatically connect. Uh, when you connect with a uh, device or your phone uh, and you hit record while your Bluetooth is connected, this is the interesting part. This little guy is set up to sample its full stereo. It samples at 355.2 kilobits per second at 44.1 kilohertz. Um, just amazing. And it sounds fantastic. So the Bluetooth mode recording is crazy good. So I don't know you know, if you guys have a use for that, uh, where you'd be streaming something from a Bluetooth device to this speaker and you hit record. Um, you're going to be able to record some awesome quality recordings with it. I couldn't believe it. Um, so that's where it's, this is where its main claim to fame is recording stereo from the Bluetooth. It just, it samples it super high and the best out of everything. Um, so there you are. Let's go ahead and turn that off there. Okay. Now we're going to talk about recording with the microphone. It's pretty basic. There's a microphone up front here. It samples at 192.7 kilobits per second at 44.1 kilohertz. Uh, no stereo, of course, single channel only because it's just a single microphone. Um, it's pretty good for a conference room, a small conference room, like a small office room, and say a distance of 8 to 10 feet at the most. The Q3 is a more sensitive microphone. If you need a better just recording device to record people talking in a room, you want the Q3. But if you just need something basic and you already have this, this will work in that situation with just a smaller room. Uh, let's see what else can I talk about. The microphone, the auxiliary in. Okay, so when you hook up, say, your uh, radio, like your Skywave, like this guy here, it'll record medium wave, short wave beautifully. It just sounds great. Um, so you hook up your patch cable, hook it up to here. Now, the interesting thing I noticed is that if you turn the volume all the way down, like it is now, um, and you have it at zero, it'll record nothing. <laughs> so you have to have it at least on one, okay? Now, if you change this all the way up, it doesn't matter where this is set um, as far as the volume control, as long as it's one to the highest setting, which I think is like, was it 30? Yeah, it's 30. So just so you know, this doesn't affect the line level at all, except if you go to zero, zero, then it mutes it. The line levels by here, the volume on the source radio. This is your line level. Uh, so you use that um, at, to adjust. Now, if you're wondering how do you record in peace and quiet, I figured out a way to do it. You can either set it on one if that doesn't bother you, but if it does bother you, just plug your patch cable into the earphone jack, or if you have an extra patch cable, or your headphones to the earphone jack, and there you go, silence. And that works out pretty good. Okay, but yeah, recording from the AM band to here sounds really nice. And same with the shortwave. I don't think I have to demonstrate that. Also wanted to say that this will also act like the Q3. You don't have to have a battery in there. If you hook up the USB power cable directly, now this guy right here, directly to the power block, it'll power the device and record and play the radio and do all those things without having a battery installed. That's really nice if you do what I do with my Q3. I use this as a recorder all the time during the summer months, and I let this one run for about 17 hours a day, a power directly from the USB. Uh, this works really good for that. Um, and I'll be honest with you, it probably bests this as far as a recorder goes for doing that particular thing. And there's a reason why I'm gonna talk about it right now. So uh, now you know it's a great auxiliary recorder for shortwave and medium wave. It's okay for FM. Uh, but to be honest with you, it doesn't record stereo. I don't think you'd really, really bother unless you're recording some type of show that's on FM. 
that you want to know about. Let me just put that back down. So we're almost done. So we want to talk about the way it stores the files. It does have an extension of WAV, WAV, which is usually Microsoft's WAV uncompressed, but it's definitely a compressed file. So if you change it to MP3, it'd probably be an MP3 file. So I'm guessing it is, but it gives it a WAV extension. Um, the radio, as you record, of course, your numbers are 99.99. I did this, tested it to see what it would do when it reached an hour and a half. It would start a new file. What it would do? It does not start a new file. It keeps one continuous file. So if you're into recording two or three hour programs, it does not interrupt it. It will be one single file, which is fantastic. Uh, there's no breaks in the file. But if you're like me with the little Q3 here and you're recording, say, you know, 17 hours worth, you can't, this thing would have it all one big file that would be hard to manage. Here it's easier to manage because it splits it into one hour segments. That's just because I use it for that one particular task. But for all general use, this is probably the better recorder. So there it is. I think I covered everything on this. There's just so much. Um, hooking to the PC, uh, I got a cable that worked. It was a black cable. This did not work with the PC, which I was pretty upset with. But I did find one I did. And when it worked, it acted as a PC speaker. So this act, everything I played on my PC came out of this speaker <laughs> versus my other devices. That was pretty funny. It took priority. And then, of course, transferring files back and forth from the device to the computer was pretty slow through that connection. I'd recommend just taking the micro SD card out and uh, putting it in one of those little adapters and plugging it in your PC and then copying the files directly in, you know, to and from the SD card with those adapters much quicker, much faster. So there it is. Let me just go ahead and turn this off. The XHData D318BT does it get a buy in my book. Yes, for 20 bucks, you're getting a fantastic package. I mean, this is huge competition for the Q3. Um, in a lot of respects, especially with the Bluetooth feature. Um, you can't beat that. So you got a Bluetooth speaker with record function. Uh, that's just, just an amazing setup. I can't, uh, I don't know, there's just a few things I didn't like about it. It does not have FM stereo. Uh, I'm trying to think, yeah, it doesn't record stereo through the auxiliary in. I was kind of bummed about that. Uh, but to be honest with you, most people that are buying this are probably using it just to uh, record their transmissions from you know, what they're picking up on the medium wave or short wave. Um, that's what I'd be using it for. Perfect companion for that. Just perfect. Uh, so if you want to pocket this with you on a trip and you're you're doing some DXing out there in the boonies, take this with you. You'll have a great time with it. Um, and you'll be able to get some good recordings. Like I said, you can pause as you're recording too, which is great. So if you hit some bad static and you got to wait for it to clear up, you can just pause and wait for that station to come back. So you're not just recording static. So you can manually do that while you're recording. I do like that feature also. Um, yeah, and the buttons are much better. They're raised really nicely. Just an all-around higher quality feel versus the Texans. You know, it's got some kind of plastic membrane here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about this so much lasting as I think these keys will last much longer than this. So as far as audio quality goes, I think I'm going to give it to the XH Data for having better bass <laughs> all the way. So 20 bucks. Check out the link below. You're going to love it. If you need a recorder for your medium wave, short wave, if you want to record FM without stereo, if you want to record Bluetooth, if you have some function for that, by all means, buy this. You will absolutely love this radio. Just an absolutely amazing little guy. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Take care, and we'll see you in the next episode.